This is not Morgan Freeman. This is not real. What you are hearing is the result of a new, open source voice cloning tool, e to F5 TTS. It's a tool so advanced it can recreate the rich, iconic voice of just about anyone. From actors to family members, or even, well, me. All right, so our intro is out of the way. You know exactly what we're doing. We are cloning voices today. So this is an open source piece of software that allows you to take any voice, uh, like a 10, 15 second clip of a voice, and you can clone it. So we're gonna show you uh, my voice being cloned today uh, on a MacBook because that was requested by my friend. Uh, this will work on Windows, Mac, Linux. It's super easy to get set up. I'm gonna show you a easy way to do that. Uh, but first, let me show you exactly what we're talking about. It is called F5 TTS and it is fully open source. So uh, they give you all this information as to uh, what's supported, all the information, how it was trained, so on and so forth. It is also on Hugging Face, which I will have links in the description below, uh, and you can use this to clone voices. Uh, is it as good as Eleven Labs? No, it's not, uh, but for a fully-fledged open source product, it's pretty amazing. Um, to install it, we're going to use Pinocchio. Uh, if you don't know, Pinocchio just makes um, installing uh, different applications extremely easy. So a lot of this stuff requires different libraries. Uh, Pinocchio is like a one-click, so it checks if you have the libraries and it just automatically installs them for you. So come to uh, Pinocchio.computer, uh, download Pinocchio, go through the installation process, and once you have Pinocchio installed, it's going to look something like this. So you can see here my Pinocchio, I already have uh, E2 F5 TTS installed, but you can actually just come to discover and you can just scroll down and you have a whole list of different stuff you uh, can install. So if you wanna install any of this stuff, you can just click any model, any uh, AI based application, and then it will one click install it. So if we clicked here, we can actually hit download and it will start installing. Uh, so I already have it installed. It's already up and running. Let me just show you how it works. So we're going to click it. I'm going to click pop out because I like the web browser version better. Uh, and then we can scroll down. Uh, there's TTS, there's podcast, multiple styles, voice chats, uh, and then credits. So today we're just going to use TTS. Uh, you can upload an existing audio file or you re can record your own. So we're going to record my own. All right, so I'm just testing this out and I'm just recording my own voice right now. Uh, and make sure you guys do subscribe for more AI content. Uh, if you are enjoying all the stuff that I'm sharing with you, definitely like the video and drop a comment down below. So that is the uh, little voice capture thing that I did. Uh, truthfully, I should have cropped it. So there you go. And we'll do it here. And then we're going to generate some text. So our text could be uh, cloning voices is easy as one, two, three. All right. And now we have a model choice and you can play around with the different models. And we're going to click this button and um, keep in mind something. I am on a MacBook, an M series Mac and I'm not using my good beefy computer, uh, so this is going to run a bit slower. Uh, but even running slower, it is still pretty quick. So you can see 450 seconds to generate an audio file off a computer that was really never made to do this is kind of incredible. Uh, something to point out uh, before I forget, uh, there is a option to transcribe this stuff. I've never had to do it. Uh, it just works pretty well. So you don't have to really worry about that. Um, but we are 46 seconds in and we're just kind of waiting for it to generate. And hopefully we get a good generation for you. Um, the one at the start, I just downloaded a audio file, uploaded it, and then uh, 
had it transcribe that and then use text to generation based off what I wanted him to say. Um, so anyway, I think we'll be back uh, when this is done generating. All right, so it is finished. Uh, we can hit play now and you can hear how it sounds. That's amazing, isn't it? Uh, sometimes it doesn't actually play on the browser, so you'd have to hit this little download button here. You can download it. So I'm going to download it. I'm just going to embed the audio that it plays directly into uh, this video clip so you can hear how it sounds. And cloning voice is as easy as 123. So it's not terrible. It's not like the greatest. But uh, anyway, this is how you can clone voices and run it on your own computer. Uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm going to keep uh, pumping out new AI stuff. So if you want to stay informed and stay up to date with all these new tools, definitely subscribe for more of that content. If you enjoyed today's video, like the video and leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on today's tool. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.